first of all, I want to see a record of standing for life. Um, I'll be honest, when in 2016 happened and we had a whole field of candidates that were saying they were pro-life on the Republican side, um, you know, Donald Trump was not my first choice because he didn't have a tra that track record. Well, now he has much more of a track record after almost four years in office. And I think the track record is really important. You look at not just what they say, but what they've done for life. And I think you also, you know, I, we, live action is nonpartisan. We do not take sides Republican versus Democrat, but we have to acknowledge that, unfortunately, the Democratic Party has sold themselves to the abortion industry. I mean, their platform is 100% pro-abortion for any reason through all nine months. It's very rare you find a pro-life Democrat. So I know that some people are independents or even they're Democrats and they're Christians, and I very much can empathize because I think that there are important issues on both sides. But the protection of human life, especially when they're the most defenseless from the, the violence of an abortion, I don't think there's anything more important when we go to the voting box. And so I know that there's lots of other issues to consider, but I would say life should be first and the track record of the candidate should be something that we look up to make sure that it, it's there in defending life.